Hey guys, welcome to Zero Degree Coder. In this video, I'm going to, to show you how can you make your portfolio looking like this in just a few seconds with the help of React. So you can see how it's looking cool, amazing, uh, a portfolio which you can make a recruiter to recruit you on the first go. So you can see how it's looking cool. Okay. So on the top, we have like uh, so the name Hello, I'm Audible welcome to my world and we have added the download resume with the you know coolest hover feature so you can see on the top we have also added some you know uh nav item okay and there's after that uh, about me section on the about me section you can see all the things like whatever you know whatever you know whatever you have learned like my name is whatever and certificates and if you want to add add your certificates and add the you know hover link to it will uh, open you certificate link on the, the next page experience education whatever you want to add go ahead and add all the things okay the next thing come is for the recruiter that skills and framework to demonstrate to the uh to the recruiter so whatever you want to add so you can add like with a, a cool hover effect so aws tell when wordpress expresses whatever and one of the most important things for the recruiter is that there should be your all the project whatever you want to add add that all the project and the next thing is that contact me form so you can see how it's looking cool amazing for the recruiter so you have to not uh, write the all the code i will provide the github repo link you have to just do the git clone and install the packages okay yeah one thing i, I forgot to show you so it is like you know it's a fully responsive if you go on the mobile size so you can see how it's looking cool for the mobile size so you can see it's for the mobile mobile is responsive uh yeah, if i like you know make a more smaller size so you can see how it's looking cool so yeah that's great for you know so now coming to the video so whenever you what do you do first uh, do a good clone on your terminal and okay like doing just just do git clone and after that, uh, just open on the, uh, your, uh, what do you say, open on your VS code. And one more thing, we are using yarn. If you are not installing yarn, so you would just remove the yarn.log and do npm i if you want to, you know, if you don't want to use yarn. Okay. And now, coming to the main page. So on the app.js, there's a one component called home component. So home component is our, you know, uh, the main component, whatever you can say. So when I click on a home component, so there's some logic so you can see on the use effect we have like showing a uh, spinner uh, for the you know for just two one seconds after one second i will not uh, i will showing something else okay so okay. so initially like we are showing a spinner and after that we are showing the all the whole app so if i show you again what is happening what is happening so if i reload the page so first you see that there is a spinner and then the whole page comes okay so now the first one is hide app bar this is a app bar so this is a, like you know uh, these are all the logic of the app bar so it is also so straightforward if you want to change something go ahead and change like but i i suggest you have to not change anything else on this uh app bar okay the next thing come is the hero section so on the hero section, uh, this is the hero section. So I will change hello, uh, whatever I want to change. What, yeah, hello, I am zero degree coder. Okay, so you can see, uh, hello, I'm zero degree coder. How it's looking cool, you know, and we have added the download resume link. So it's so straightforward you have to just go on the you know uh, respective component and change whatever you want to change and you know change all the project uh yeah that's uh you know that's so much straightforward and yeah that's all the you know uh directory that's all the folder of the app so it's so straightforward go on the you know uh, according to your need file and change there whatever you want to change go ahead and just change it so uh, again one is one other thing is that like on the about me section so you have to just go on the about section about the jsx so we have written some styling uh using styling